Yo, my people, them CFC really blue back with another video. And this is the player ratings for the Aston Villa and Chelsea game in the FA Cup yesterday, which we won 3 1, courtesy of Enzo Fernandez, Conor Gallagher, and Nicholas Jackson. You guys, check out the video and get ready to hear all of these guys' player ratings. And they are going to be much better than the ratings that I gave. For the previous match against Wolves. So stay tuned. And if you are excited about the result yesterday and you enjoy my content, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new Chelsea videos from yours truly. But yeah, man, let's get into the play ratings. I'm gonna start off with Dodi Petrovic. Man like Petrovic, man, another game. Obviously, no clean sheet. It's a bad, obviously, not a bad result but it's unfortunate that we couldn't keep a clean sheet but the most important thing is that we got the w he made a lot of good saves as well so big you up for it you haven't been poor so i'd be real mad rating for you i'm gonna give you a 6.5 good performance petrovic big you up then we have malo gusto man like malo you know abby road he had a great game man great game the whole team had a great game and he is going to get a seven from me because not only was he helping defend very well, winning tackles, he also got an assist. But Nicholas Jackson's goal, and what a boy it was. Not only that, but he was traveling with the boys. Or it doesn't matter whether he was on the right-hand side or we saw you dribbling on the left-hand side, winning fouls for us. He was absolutely tremendous. And seven might be too low. I'm going to give him a 7.5 because it was an absolutely great performance. So... Big you up, Malo Gusto, 7.5 for him. Then, centre-backs. It wasn't the centre-backs I was thinking of, but they had a very good game. To start off with, Axel De Sassi. De Sassi and Badi Ashul, they played very well. And for us, keeping a clean sheet for the majority of the game, up until like the 90 plus minute, hey man, it goes to, goes to credit you guys. Obviously, Aston Villa were poor. They could have done better, but they made us look very good. It made you guys look very good as well. So, my rating for you guys, I'm going to give you both. I'm going to give you a seven, Axel de Sassi. Benoit Badi and Show. Obviously, it was a good game, much improved from the previous match. And even though you might have given the ball away a couple of times, you weren't, you weren't hit with serious trouble. Aston Villa weren't doing much. So, Honestly, good performance. I'm going to give you a seven as well. Big you up. Then we have Ben Chilwell, and this is a much, much better performance. Big improvement. Not only was you whipping in crosses, you were winning tackles, getting down the left-hand side. We weren't, you weren't defending too much, but that's a good thing. Aston Villa played into our hands and made us look a whole lot better. Than what I thought that we would be based on the lineup that we had. So big you up, Ben Chilwell. My rating for him, I'm going to give him also a seven. Big you up. Then we move on to the midfield, the creme de la creme, the part that was cooking everything yesterday. We'll start off with Moises Caicedo. Man like Caicedo, hey man, you see what happens when you get put with Enzo close to you. You're winning the jewels, winning tackles. Not only that, you was moving into the back three as well because at times you would drop deep to play in between the Sassi and Badi Ashil, receive the ball, put it out to the left, put it out to the right, drive with it. Like you was very, very good. And in the system that we had yesterday, it showed your best, showed your best potential. And the reason why we signed you for 100 million because this guy, he's not a guy that's going to be getting goals, a lot of them. But he is a guy that can be the destroyer, be the disruptor in the midfield. Be the guy that can be so, so great. And man like Moises Caicedo, I'm going to give you a 7.5 for yesterday's game. Big you up. Then we have Enzo Fernandez, my bro. Enzo Man like Enzo, you know, I man, brilliant performance. 
you were showing heart and desire. The whole team did. You were doing it a lot. A lot of tackles won. Dribbles completed. Long balls for fun. And not to mention that Golazo, Golazo into the top bins. That free kick was absolutely incredible. Incredible. And big you up for that, man. Honestly, man. Such a great performance. Mm -hmm. Such a great performance. You helped us. You led us. And taking off your top, pointing, saying that you are here to stay. Because people are saying that you might leave. That's impossible. Enzo Fernandez is not on that. He will be here. A man's happy that he is here. Great performance from him. I am going to give him a roll. I'm going to give him a 10. Absolutely incredible. There's nothing I could say that was bad about it. Nothing. I'm going to give him a 10. Then we have Conor Gallagher. And Gallagher, a much improved performance. I have to say about a lot of the team. A lot of the team made improved performance. And you scoring your first goal in all competitions this season. It's about time because you showed that you could score goals at Crystal Palace. We need to see this more often. More often, bro. And great performance. Not only did you score... The tackles that you were winning, the intensity, the desire that you showed, the whole team showed as well. Big you up for it. My rating for you, I'm going to give you also, as you know, I'm going to give you an A. Big you up, Conor Gallagher. Big you up. Then we move on to the attack. And Nicholas Jackson on the left hand side, bro. Whew. Hey, man, big you up. Big you up because it's the first time we've seen you play there. And I've been saying that he's more of an inside forward than a striker. And yesterday's game proved that. Absolutely proved that. Not only did he score that header, how did he score that header as well? Like, we, amount of times you put ball into the box this season, how many times have guys scored headers? Yeah, Jackson scores that one. Against Martinez as well. We are flying, fam. We are flying, man. We couldn't have read how yesterday went. Could never have imagined that it went that way. But not to mention, obviously, his goal. But the tracking back on the left-hand side, stuff that we don't see Raheem Sterling do. On the defensive side, be helpful. Be helpful. If Conor Gallagher wants to push up, you will drop deeper. That is absolutely fine. And I need to see more of that. I don't want to be seeing Raheem Sterling on the left-hand side. I don't want to be seeing Raheem Sterling start because he just ain't good enough. He's not consistent enough. We should give chances to other guys who have the potential to be that good. Sterling is meant to be in the prime of his life and he doesn't do enough. So I'll get on to him later. But yeah, back to Nicholas Jackson. Big up for your performance, bro. Can't wait to see more of it. My rating for you, I'm going to give you a I'm give you I'm give you an eight as well. Big you up, my bro. And then we have Noni Madweki. And Noni, I be real to you. I rate you highly, man. And sometimes I could be critical of you just because I want you to do better. Like the shot that you did yesterday. Fam, how it went so wide. Even you couldn't believe it. How it went so wide. So wild. Even then, like some passes went astray. It's like you could do better. But the one thing I'll always say about Noni Madweki, take ons. He will always be on to take on his man, always. And he completed the most dribbles from uh, the whole team, from whether that's Aston Villa or Chelsea yesterday. Not only that, he got the assist for Conor Gallagher's goal as well. So big him up. Much improved performance. Mm -hmm. You see more of it. And that's the reason why more time you see me play him, but I want me to see him play him on the right-hand side. So big you up, Noni. My rail for you. I'm going to give you a 7.5. Big you up for your performance, my bro. Big you up. And then we have the striker, Cole Palmer. And funny enough, he wasn't even that. He, like, realistically, in terms of goals, he didn't score. He didn't assist. He worked, like, but he would drop deep. The way he made the system work yesterday, similar to how we played against Arsenal, him and Gallagher could interchange, he could drop deep, um, make great play. but. We're going to be honest, Cole Palmer was one of the guys who we thought that would turn up, but 
he didn't even do the utmost. Like, realistically, this is probably one of his most quietest games. So, I'll be honest, man. To know that we didn't have to play, to know that he wasn't at his best and we still won the game convincingly speaks volumes about the performance. So, my rating for Cole Palmer, I'm going to give him a, I'm going to give him a seven. Big up for your performance because the way you play helps Nicholas Jackson get into positions, Conor Gallagher get into those positions, Noni Madweki. Big you up for your performance, Cole Palmer. Now, you're going to move on to the subs. And the subs, these are the subs. These are the subs. These are the subs. So, Raheem Sterling came on for Noni Madweki. Sterling didn't do much, I'll be honest. And he looked like he tried to up his level to a certain extent just due to the fact that he's seen how Nicholas Jackson played. And I need to see Raheem Sterling start on the bench more often because he should know that he needs to do a whole lot more. I am not backing Sterling. I don't think that we should keep him. But for me, he needs to be shown that he can be dropped. Too many times a season, he has crap performances, but can we walk him to start 11? It cannot be like that anymore. It cannot. He needs to hold the bench a lot more than what have been than what he has been this season. So I'm just gonna give him a five for his performance. Um Thiago Silva, hey man, he came on. Calm performance. I'm gonna give you a five as well. Calm performance. And then Alfie Gilkers and Christopher and Kunku got introduced in the 87th minute. These guys didn't do much. And I'm not even gonna give them a rating. Because they didn't do much. There weren't a lot for us to do. So it is what it is, man. I'm not going to give those guys a rating, but big them up for making the appearance. Big you guys up. And then we move on to the manager, Mauricio Pochettino. And for everything that happened, I'll be real, I'm still not going to be convinced that Pochettino is going to be the guy that can win us the Champions Leagues or the Premier Leagues. But yesterday's performance is a step in the right direction. I am just so annoyed to the fact that he has to take everything that happened over the course of this last week for you to do these kind of things. To make Caicedo and Enzo Fernandez play closer together. To find the balance in the midfield. To make the substitutions that actually make sense. To put Nicholas Jackson on the left-hand side. These are things that are very good. These are things that we need to do more often. And this is where the criticism will come. Is that how often will we see this? This is what this is a one game. One game. We need to see this four, five, six, seven games in a row. Four, five, six, seven games in a row. He said in his press conference that people need to stop making us feel like we're the same old choice from 20 years ago. We're not the same. But at the start of the season, you are the same guy that said we are Chelsea. We need to do we need to do all of these things. It's more criticism, more criticism stuff. Also the Thiago Silva stuff. He wanted to try and say that raw. He's not starting due to the fact that other players played better. He's been our best defender this whole entire season. Thiago Silva. He got dropped due to Bell Silva's comments. Let's just be honest, man. Let's be honest. Because we've had numerous times to play him, to, to, not, to not start him. Numerous times. So even after the Newcastle game, he didn't get dropped for the next game now, did he? We, he played crap in that match. So against Liverpool earlier in the week, all of our defence played rubbish. He still started against Wolves. So all of this stuff they want to talk about, oh, yeah, I've done this and done that. It's just bare PR. I need actions. All these chattings, they don't even mean much because the only thing that matters is the actions, the results. Pochettino, you need to make sure that the intensity is as high for the next game as possible because we have six days to prepare for the next match. Not even six days, like five days. Because we play against Crystal Palace on Monday. So make sure the team has the same performance. Make sure to use the same starting eleven. Because how we played yesterday, our best game of the season, we need to stick with the same lineup. And you need to make sure that, that the players are as hungry for the Crystal Palace match as they were for the Aston Villa game. That is your job. So make sure you do that. Uh, like I said, I'm not 100% confident in him. I don't believe in him. And in the league, I don't feel like we're going to be doing a whole lot. It's the cups that mean the most. It's the cups that will save our season. 
So we just better make sure that when we play Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final, make sure the players are up for it. When we play Leeds in the next round of the FA Cup, make sure the players are up for it because these are the matches that matter. Premier League, it doesn't matter that much because we're not even going to get European football through the Premier League, in my opinion. So the team, just, the manager just better make sure that he does his job and sets up correctly. Tactics, everything needs to be spot on. So, hey man, nonetheless, it was a great performance, probably our best performance of the season. And yeah, man, that's going to be it for me regarding the player ratings. You guys let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC Redis Blue and I'm out. Peace. Come on Chelsea. Come on Chelsea.